Jesus is the answer for the world today. Good morning, everyone. Pastor Esther here. This morning, I just want to encourage our hearts. Uh, for those of us who are out there and in this busy, cold <laughs> season, um, if we're out here, we are feeling forgotten. We are feeling as though, God, when are you going to come through? Um Maybe we're just feeling weary and downcast in our souls. I just want to encourage us to know that we are loved by God. Um, God loves us. God loves us eternally, which is why he sent his son, Jesus, to die for our sins because God desired relationship with us. Um, but this morning, I just want to share a passage of scripture that um, when I am going through and I'm down and my heart asks questions like, God, where are you? Are you even seeing me? Um, and more importantly, when I just feel forgotten, um, I love to meditate on this passage of scripture and encourage my soul. This is Isaiah 49 from 14 to 16. And it says, Zion says, the Lord has abandoned me. The Lord has forgotten me. Can a woman forget her nursing child or lack compassion for the child of her womb? Even if these forget, yet I will not forget you. Look, I have inscribed you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are continually before me. Uh, this was the declaration of God towards his people, towards Zion, towards you and I. Um, what I love about this passage of scripture is we are the word of God. God is juxtaposing his thoughts about us to that of a mother who is dealing with a baby and for any parent out there, you understand that babies are just so precious and delicate to us. And, you know, they tell new parents things like clear out your phone because you're going to take a thousand photos because your children are consistently on your mind, they're in your heart, they're in your thoughts. He says, like, how can a mother who's nursing her child, a woman who is feeding her baby, can she forget that child? And you and I know that it's illogical to even conceive in our minds that that is a possibility. We have seen mothers and we know that they guard their children jealously and well. We know that they have compassion on their children. I think about how um, when individuals become parents and they go to the store and they find themselves consistently buying things for their children instead of themselves. Well, how much more God, you know, God is saying that even if they forget, even if it was possible that a mom who is feeding her child would be absent minded about that child and not think about that child and not have compassion on that child, he will never do that. He says, I will not forget, forget you. Um, God has not forgotten you. No matter what it looks like, no matter what it feels like, a lot of times our feelings don't have any truth in them. In terms of they are valid, they are real, they are an expression of how we are responding or perceiving a situation around us, but it doesn't mean that they are the truth of what the situation is. And so while Sometimes we may feel forgotten. God has not forgotten you. He says in his word that he has you and I inscribed on the palms of his hands. And our walls are be continually before him, meaning that we are coming continually in mind before the Lord. So I want to encourage you 
to not give up, to not throw in the towel, to not draw away from God, to not retreat from the company of believers, to not stop in your prayer and your worship, to not stop in your service, to not stop in trusting God and waiting on God because he is at work in your life, no matter what it may look like. God's timing is always perfect. God is always on time and he has not forgotten you, but instead he is looking on you with compassion and he has you continually before him and he is working every situation in your life for your good and his glory. God bless you. Thank you.